All right, guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Take two, because my phone just stopped working. It just shut itself off and restarted while I was doing a review. And, um, yeah, so I thought I might as well just uh, redo this, because uh, it's not a beer that I really want to go out my way to buy again anytime soon, um, because I like to try as many different beers as I can. And, um, yeah, so I've already tasted it, I've looked at it, I've smelt it, I gave my opinion on the beer. Uh, some people would say just leave it now, just enjoy the beer, but I want to talk about it. And uh, you'll have to excuse the uh, odd angle, um, you're actually connected to my laptop right now. Um, because I think it's a bit of a battery issue, so you're charging as I'm doing this. So hopefully, um, fingers crossed, there'll be no problems. And uh, yeah, I've got my red chair here and uh, glow behind me which is good because we've got washing hanging up and uh yeah i can't i can't believe how many times i've been on camera and this wet washing hung up on the uh clothes source but anyway i digress today we're going back to Tuo over in copenhagen and this is a can of the limon or limon, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I'm guessing it's lemon, uh, which is a cream ale brewed with lemon balm and lemon verena. Uh, lemon balm, I think, is part of the mint family, and lemon verena, or verbena, is, um, I can't remember. Uh, it is like a herb, and I think you can make tea with both of them. So, uh, yeah that sort of thing but a uh, cream ale though I've never had a cream ale so I'm not sure if it does fall under like the uh, American style of cream ale uh, if anybody has tried this feel free to let me know I'm not sure how widely available outside of America cream ales are oh well and uh, yeah apologies about this um, it's absolutely sweltering I've got the fan on behind me as you can see the windows are open so if you just hear trains and a loud fan in the background I'm sorry but um, I want to get this video done. So, uh, as is always the case with two old beautiful, beautiful artwork from Casper Liedert. I mean, it is essentially just a photograph. But, yeah, I'm not sure how well it relates to the beer itself. But it's very striking, to say the least. Uh, a beautiful piece of photography of uh, what I'm guessing is some sort of an apartment building. Not sure if that's in somewhere like Scandinavia, or it could be somewhere like South America, which I think is where the verbena comes from, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, but very striking artwork indeed. It reminds me of... Um, oh, what's the film again? It reminds me of two films. I can't remember the director of each. The first one is an Austrian film called uh, Import-Export, which is an absolutely fantastic film. Um, and the other one is a Scandinavian film. The, that film was an Austrian one. Uh, and a Scandinavian film called Frozen Land. I don't know why I'm getting uh, images of that. And some people are probably thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, but yeah, best before date is 16th of the 3rd, 2018. Picked this up from Beretta. Um, it was one of the beers that I uh, picked up a few weeks ago. When uh, family, uh, just before family was visiting. And forgot about it. And I want to get them done because they're low ABVs, and this is clocking in at 3.5%. So, quick little spiel on the back. Uh, our herbal, delicate cream ale, Limon, is ever loyal and will never let you down. Fragrant lemon, verbena, and lemon balm paired with citrusy hops. So, I think you get an image in your head already of what this beer is going to be like. So, beer in a glass then, and that is hazy as hell. Um... I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there are a few little bits and bobs at the bottom of the glass. And actually throughout the glass, and there's a lovely cloud of particulates in the centre. But it's got like a slight orangey look to it. A um, little bit of an amber tone, but it's got that sort of like um, lemon, lemon-esque look as well. Very opaque, hazy, cloudy. Beer, well, when I initially bought it, it was like three fingers worth of head, but it has settled down considerably, and we've just got a lining of head, which seems to be a stake in its own. And at 3.5%, that is a very impressive looking beer, it has to be said. So anyway, when we get the aroma, and you get those citrusy hops, you get a big hit of citra. That's what I'm picking up. It could be completely wrong, but 
I'm going off from what I can remember of the Citra Hop and the fact that it's a lemony beer and also for the fact that it's you know, citrusy hop characters but definitely I'm thinking that there's a, a Citra Hop in there. Maybe even like a Simcoe as well. It's got that sort of like slight cat litter sort of aroma to it. But yeah, very lemony. Very lemony. Get like a sweet lemon curd sort of aroma coming from this one. And although I'm not familiar with either uh, the lemon balm or lemon verbena, you do get that sort of like mineral-esque, not mineral-esque, herb herbal-esque sort of character. Like uh, I'm definitely getting like some fresh mint in there. But yeah, very herbaceous. And it does have actually that sort of like slight mineral-esque character to it. A little bit of earthiness, getting a slight dankness, a little bit of pine, resin, that sort of thing. And it does smell like something you'd like find in a natural uh, like beauty shop or something, like a, a balm that you'd actually put on yourself, that sort of thing. Something like you'd find from uh, maybe somewhere like Body Shop, almost. Yeah, very herbally. A lot more herbally now, now the uh, hops have subsided, because it was initially quite a hoppy beer, but... Yeah, it, it just smells of, like, summer and spring, and the aroma and the appearance alone make this a, a mouth-watering beer. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. First thing I notice with this, at 3.5%, it's got quite the body to it. I'd say it's on the, the lower end of medium. No wateriness there, it's not thin. That carbonation is just right, it's nice and subtle. Helps distribute the beer around the mouth enough. A little bit dry and bitter on the back end. That for me is where the hops come in most, mixing with that sort of like herbal green tea character coming from the um, verbena and the balm. Although a little like a medium after, there is like a, a slight sense of creaminess there. But that could just be because it's a cream ale and I'm thinking of the word cream ale. But um, yeah, very balanced beer. There's really no strong flavours with this one at all. But it's not a dull beer and it's got a nice amount of personality to it. Almost like a, an infused tonic water, maybe. But yeah, very refreshing. It is like something you probably get at a spa or something like that. But yeah, that, that's a, a lovely subtle beer. Not what I was expecting at all, but it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought that after looking up the ingredients on this one, I thought that it would get that sort of like really overly brewed like green tea sort of flavour. But it's not, it's very delicate, very well balanced. Those hops just add that little bit of bitterness, a little bit of drying character on the back end. But there's no real real strong flavours in this one. It's very nicely balanced, very drinkable, crushable. And at 3.5%, it's got an impressive body for it. And uh, what did I have yesterday? It was the Totem Pell, which was the, um, the session... Um, what's the word? that I'm looking for. Totem... It was the Totem Pale, basically. It was a 2.2% beer. And that was just a little bit too watery for me. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't remember what I'm looking for. Um, gluten. It was a gluten-free session pale ale. And it just did not do anything for me. The flavours were nice enough, but the body was too weak. This almost has, like... You'd think it was like a a 4% upwards sort of beer, to be honest. And maybe that's what cream ales are like. The light ABV, but they've got a little bit more of a body to them. I'm not familiar with the style, so feel free to uh, educate me in the comments. But uh, yeah, this is a beer that I probably wouldn't go out of my way to pick up again anytime soon. But would I turn it down? No. Um, that's the thing with... That's the nature with breweries like uh, Tuol, 
you could have some really beautiful beers from them, but they release so many that you want to try that you'd opt to buy two or three newer beers as opposed to going back to one of the beers that you've already tried. Unless it's sort of like by other means or something along those lines. But um, yeah, actually I could see myself picking this up again if I wanted something light, refreshing on a hot summer's day. Not really too flavoursome, you know, nothing in your face about it. Just a very revitalising beer, and that's that's what it is. Like I say, it's like infused alcoholic tonic water. And I'm not talking about gin and tonic. But, um, yeah, lovely stuff. The Herbal Edge, not too overpowering, not too bitter, um, not too earthy, just, just right. And if you like your green teas and stuff like that, and you want a beer that has those elements, then definitely give the Limon a try. And, uh, yeah, it's a citrusy, creamy, light beer. What more could you ask for on a hot summer's day? So, even though I've uh, already reviewed this beer, my uh, video you're seeing now, where I was just going over stuff that I've already picked out about the beer, it's still 11, 12 minutes, but I always like to have a chat with you guys. Um, and, yeah, if you get the chance to try it, definitely give it a go. Um, it's an intriguing one, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, another can from to all. I mean, again, I'd, I'd have loved to add the bottle of this just so I could keep the artwork because uh, I think you could be able to take the, the wrap off, but it would be damaged and I wouldn't be able to take the can back, which is... Um, I'm a design geek, but I'm also uh, very tight-fisted. So, uh, yeah, quite impressed by that one. 8 out of 10 from me. Um, if I was a bit more familiar with the style, I, it could potentially get a bigger score, could potentially get a smaller score, but ticking all the boxes right now. And uh, yeah, to all strikes again. So if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Uh, what beers like this should I go for? Maybe it's cream ale or these sort of like herbal, uh, leafy, grassy, you know, those types of beers. Always intr intrigued to try them. What to all beers should I look for? In the future if any of my friends or people i follow have reviewed this one their reviews are down below check out to all check out casper lead it check out beretta as well and of course check out my tool playlist for more cracking beers from these guys anyway i've waffed on for way too long thank you guys for sticking with me and i shall hopefully see you next time cheers